Cyhawk rivalry coming into it first time? Uh, I heard it's a big deal. You know, I heard uh, we don't have our trophy, so we're going to work to get that back this week for sure. So, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. What have you heard about what their fans are, are going to be like walking into Jack Trice? Uh, it's going to be pretty toxic, pretty toxic <laughs> environment. But, you know, it's going to be loud and, you know, you, you live for that. So it's going to be fun. Did you experience anything anything like that when you were at Charleston? We played ECU. It was, they were like throwing cans and stuff at us, but <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. You're treating that way too low key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big deal, but yeah, it was crazy. Were they empty cans at least? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Crushed up. What are you seeing on film from Iowa State? Uh, a lot of opportunity, for sure. In what way? In a good way. <laughs> <laughs> they have one of the better secondaries probably in the country. TJ Tampa is considered one of the best cornerbacks. Um, what do you what do you see from them specifically, especially in that kind of three three five and their you know deep uh, safety? You know, we're we're just working on our game plan. You know, we're just working to better our our offense so we can perform our very best against them because they're gonna be good. You know, we're just trying to be the best we can for them. So. Big flip is that catching on? <laughs> <laughs> Only Nico calls me that still, but yeah. <laughs> After watching the film, what, how do you reflect on kind of what you did on Saturday? A uh, lot, of, lot of improvements to be made. It's only up from here, you know, it's week one, so it's, only, it's a good start, I think. Like in, improvements, like what specifically? Uh, I mean, you can improve anywhere I, as the way I see it. I mean, nothing's really perfect, so if you just strive for perfection, then that should be the goal. I think you said on Saturday you had a lot of messages on your phone after the game. You, uh, you caught up on, on sending texts back at least. Already. Yeah, yeah, I had to send out the thank yous, and you know I was very appreciative of all the love I got. So it's good. What kind of feedback did you get from uh, your dad and your brother? Uh, they were pretty. They were pretty satisfied with it. They were happy. You know, it was a good first uh, game for me, I guess, and they they uh, they enjoyed watching it. You know, after you said you called yourself Big Flipper, and then Nico said that, you know, he's probably not going to be the only person calling me that now, right? <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, I haven't been called in. anybody else called me yet, so we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Is that what Iowa State fans are going to call you or something else? <laughs> no, I don't know about that. <laughs> so you're a pretty confident guy. What's it going to feel like to make that stadium get a little, a little quieter? Well, that's going to be a good feeling for sure. I mean, yeah. Is that something that that's, motivates you? I mean, wherever we play, I'm always going to try to put my very best out there. And I know that's for the same with my teammates as well. So just with the environment being changed up, it's not going to change our goal. But, yeah. What gives you the confidence that you can do? Just two minutes ago when I asked you, what do you see? You said there's opportunity. I'm assuming you're talking one-on-one -on -one man coverage. What gives you the or the confidence to do stuff like, to beat guys like that and to know you can or to think you can? Uh, I guess it's just the confidence really comes from within, for real, I guess. You just got to, you just got to, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. But you just got to have that mindset going out there. And I know that as a football player. So I just, you know, got that instilled in me. I feel like, as an offensive as a whole, what did or passing game? What, what did you see? Kind of you and, and your fellow receivers and Cade do well, and um, just what? How do you reflect on kind of what you guys did on top? Uh, I mean, we were blocking well, we were getting open, and he was delivering the ball well. So that's all you can really ask for in an offense, especially as a receiver. So yeah, it was good. Do you feel like it was back to business? I mean, it's tough when Cade misses, you know, two weeks of practice. But you felt like for missing two weeks and still kind of having that chemistry that all yeah, was still good. Yeah, I knew he wouldn't miss a step because you know we've been working all off season, so I knew he was gonna be fine. It came to, I'm sure, a big pitching point for you when you were being recruited to Iowa was the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Now, do you kind of feel like that you're really starting to live up into that opportunity, and you feel like you are getting those sort of opportunities? Yeah. And the way it started is that kind of just how you envisioned it. Yeah, I mean. I didn't really have a vision for how it started, but it was a great start for sure. And, you know, there's many more good things to come.